Downtown Sacramento looks a little more colorful this weekend. Thousands have crowded the convention center for the SAC Anime Show. And fans from all over the world are in the capital city to be part of the action. As KCRA 3's Leticia Ordaz found out, the event helps people find their inner superhero. At SAC Anime, no matter your age, dressing up in costume is cool. It's like Halloween every day. It's like we don't need an excuse to dress up um, as adults. It's a place where people want to get noticed. Anime is a really great way to express yourself. I am Usagi Tsukino, a.k.a. Sailor Moon. They love to network. It's just so much fun to watch and so many people that we can meet and talk to and make friends with. And everyone here feels accepted. Everyone's just really accepting and fun to talk to. Some travel great lengths to connect with one another. We actually have a guest from Italy. We have guests from Japan. Anime fans got to meet people behind their favorite characters. David Faustino is a famous voice in The Legend of Korra. He joked with me when I admitted I wasn't too familiar with anime. You don't know anime? You don't know Legend of Korra? No. Faustino says he understands there is a generation gap. The kids will come up and they'll say, hey, Mako, it's my character. And the parents will be like, hey, Bud Bundy. So it's like you have two different generations and neither of them know. Like the, the kids haven't seen the Mario children and, and sometimes the parents haven't seen the cartoon. So it's kind of funny. Power Rangers fans enjoyed seeing David Fielding, best known for his role as Zordon. It runs the gamut of people who can't talk to me and, and hyperventilate to, to people who um, are, uh, you know, the girly squeal squeals. Anime has become more mainstream, and people are embracing not having to hide their hobby. I remember, you know, I got a G.I. Joe figure in my pocket at school, and people were like, oh, you're such a dork, you're such a dweeb. Like, you know, it's, it's kind of a downer, and now people don't have to worry about that anymore. 15,000 people are expected to make it out for SAC Anime this weekend. Not to worry if you miss it, the show will be back in January. In Sacramento, Leticia Ordaz, KCRA 3 News. Well, if you haven't made it out there yet, SAC Anime continues through tomorrow at the Sacramento Convention Center.